Welcome back to Midford Pottery. Uh, as we always like to test our skills, I was looking on YouTube for pottery videos. So basically, a garlic keeper brought it like a little, it's a little jar with a gallery and a nice lid. So I thought, hmm, have a go one of them. So we're going to have a go. No idea how much clay to use, but we'll give it a go. Um, so we're going for 800 for the body. Sort of the look I'm going for, I would say a traditional English honey pot type cauldron type look. Something like that with a nice gallery on it. So as always, stick it on the bat. Turn it up. Now, clear's not very forgiving tonight, so I'm going to do this a couple of times. Just to get it nice and mixed. One more, squash them down. So I'm the world's worst at preparing me clear. Too, too born idle. <laughs> right, centre it down. Get them centred. Knock a bit of speed off. Break into the middle. Uh, again, as I've ju as I see that, we get another air bubble. We always get air bubbles. So remember, kids, always prepare your clear. <laughs> oh, I think that's all right for the base. Right. I'm going to open them out. Right, we'll start the lift, so push in and push out. Now, of course, we're going to have a gallery. Don't want this top edge to get too narrow, so that's about okay. So, I don't want to get that any narrower. And I'll go up. And less pressure so I don't get anything narrow. To there. Like so. Right. Come in just a smidge. So this time we're going for shape, so we're going to go and belly that out, so slow wheel, you don't want on the inside, that's it, right so push in right at the bottom, grab all clear. Go 
core out. And back in. And that worked well. So I'm just going to finesse this curve. So if I look sideways with my mirror, it's a bit squat at the top, so I've just got to curve that bit out a bit more. But how we're looking in the mirror, that's alright. Right. So we'll clean our insides out here. Get our water out the way. What's the inside look like? That's good. Good shape inside. Clean the outside. Like so. Now, this is where we're going to make our gallery. Um, I was going to use mud tools, but I think they're a bit, a bit severe. So what I want is a wooden rib. Got one here. Just needs a clean up. I mean, it's literally just something with a nice right angle on it. So, I've got this wooden rib. Been looking for this for ages. So, I'm going to slow wheel. So, I'm just going to some water on the outside so I don't stick them out. So I'm just going to support the clear and nip it in half, hopefully. Like so. So that's not a very sharp edge. I'm going, to do, I'm going to get there. I am going to have a go with this one. So I'm going to support the inside edge. That. And then that way as well. So there, we got a gallery. Now we've got to make a lid to fit in it. So I'm just going to show me that top edge. Like so. That's looking pretty good. Pretty good. Now you've got a sponge which does make it, brings all the grain out, so if you want it smooth, I think we're going to go smooth, so we'll get a metal rib, and we'll bend it to the contour, so I'm going to start down there, where my foot is, to 
for there like that. And then just to make it match. Lovely, lovely job, and if I do say so myself. So I'm just going to uh, that's too big, too big, just got to trim this foot. get some of the excess clear out of the way that will of course be trimmed right so clean up quick clean up then we go get the calipers to measure quick clean up like that Undercut. With our stick. Slow down. All right. Get our wire. Bring that through. So that's cut off. It's going to stop on the bat. Got to find our calipers now. That's a stretch. Right, got the colours. So that's our gauge for the inside. Get him out the way. So there's a bit of a profile shot for you, not bad. That'll be trimmed noise. Get him over there. Get another bat. Oh, the bats are making their earning their earning their keep tonight. Um, bring the scales over as well. So I think that's far too much clear. Don't think we'll need that much. Switch these on. I think that's about 500. No, that's like a cup size. Don't need that much. Yeah, I think we'll go for about 300. Three hundred. That'll do us. That will do us. So I'm going to try the same way as we did our teapot lid, so it's breaking the clear. So that's going to be the inside dimension of our, which can be trimmed to fit. Uh, we'll just gauge that with our stick. So the inside. that so this is the inside profile what's that so we're going five and a half centimeters so that's the bit that's right down here and what's that so a little bit narrower than that so we don't want to go any wider than that for our base So we'll give it a couple of corns up, squashes down, corns up, squashes down. So 
So that's about right for the bottom bit. So what we do, we'll squash that down a little bit whilst holding the base in. Not too tall. And then, so that's the middle, so move our thumb out. We're supporting the base. Push that in. Like that. Now we've got to go for our gauge. So that is pretty much spot on. But it's a bit on the thick side. So what we'll do, we'll go down a little bit more. A bit like throwing a ball, as far as I'm aware. You see, I probably had too much clear. So what we then do, we get our trusted pin tool and get rid of a bit of this excess clear. Like so. So that is pretty much spot on. So that is going to be our lid. So that's going to be. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to press in. That's a bit more delicate, that's better. So before I trim this bit, we're just going to go to the bottom of this, this. Just nip it, squash it a bit. So we want to cut a bit of this off. Here's our pin tool, so I'm going about there. So I'm going to support. Got 
leather this. Check our dimensions again, what we've got. It's bang on, bang on. You can always trim a bit off the edge if uh, need be. But that is it. So we just gotta get the water out of there, smooth them off. Get rid of some of this excess. You see I probably used too much clear for the lid, but it's always have to a little bit extra for a lady and before I cut it off I'll give you a profile of the lid on the bat so you can see what it's all about so that's stuck on the bat so as you can see that's that's going to go on the inside bit of our teapot and that's going to rest on the gallery but we can trim it to make a better fit if we have to, we've got a bit of clear to play with there. I see I'm new to throw on this style of lid, so still learning a lot. Uh, put them back on the pins. Just dry off some of this excess water around here. Like so. We'll wire it off like so, and that is our garlic keeper. So, like I say, garlic keeper and lid. Always learning. Enjoyed that. It's good. Uh, push the boundaries of the skills and all that. Hope you've enjoyed the vid. Check back for videos very soon. Uh, live streams as well trying to do more live streams remember clear is the way see you in another video very soon we'll leave you with our triumphant lid bye for now